Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be repairing an oil leak on my 8th generation 2009 Honda Civic. The oil is coming from the right side of the vehicle at the spool valve, or they call it the VTEC solenoid. This is a common leak and both my Civics are leaking there. If you have an oil leak on the passenger side, pick yourself up a gasket from Honda. The part number is 15826RNAA01. Make sure you watch the whole video because there's some important tips along the way. Let's get started. The VTEC solenoid or spool valve they call it is located right back here. But to get to it, there isn't a whole lot of room. So what I'm going to do is I'll remove the cowl panel. There's an upper piece and a lower piece, which is metal. And that's going to give me a ton of room. But to do that, I need to turn on the wipers, turn the key on. And when the wipers hit the top of their travel, I'll shut off the key and we'll just leave the wipers there. And then we just need to remove these fasteners. Okay, so let's get this cowl panel off. Just take this rubber molding off. And then you're going to have some clips. Uh, looks like half of mine are missing from the body shop. They decided it wasn't good enough to have those in for some reason. So let me show you how to get this panel off. It's this little hook tool right here. Um, seems to work pretty good for things like this and taking clips and molding out, stuff like that. But these are pretty brittle. It looks like they're gonna break on me. That one didn't come out very well. And this one over here, I've got a bunch of clips I'm, I am gonna replace. And that one didn't come out very well. And then from here, we come up here and these are also clips. They'll pop out. Be gentle. There we go. So these were the clips that we were pulling out right here. So not a big deal. They just pop out. Now over here is your windshield washer. This is where all the water goes so it squirts. So if you ever got a problem there, you'll just want to make sure these hoses are clean. So I'm going to remove it. I've got like a little pick tool. I got a set of these from Harbor Freight for about $6. Just reach in there, go around it, loosen it up. And then pull it off and bam, this is out of your way. Next up, we're gonna remove the upper metal cowl. And to do that, I have one, two, three, four bolts. And then on the other side over here, I also have one, two, three, four bolts. Let's go ahead and get those taken out. All right, so this is what I'm gonna use. I've got a 12 millimeter socket on my gun and a 10 millimeter with an extension to get the 10 millimeter bolts. One, there's two, and then the 10 millimeter, this one, and then the one back here, there we go. Let's go to the other side. All right, so the same thing on this side, there's one. There's two. There's 
There's three. And here's my fourth. And there's actually one extra over here. And let's go ahead and get this one. All right, and then from here, this will just come off. All right, so now that I can see the spool valve, let's remove the connector, the wire harness, the engine ground strap here, and I'll remove that with that 10 millimeter. strap we just need to pull that off and up move it out of the way move that out of the way and that's out of the way so I'm also going to remove this PCB hose Pretty much just to get it out of the way and the best way I found to do that take your needle nose and push it off that way so I already had this off and that's how I know but now this is just completely out of the way now if you take this 10 millimeter and this one out it's gonna give you a little bit more wiggle room there so that's what we're gonna do Much better. All right, so let's get these bolts off. I'm using a 10 millimeter ratchet uh, with an extension so I can get some leverage if I need it. So the oil switch connector, let's just pop that off, get it out of the way. This bracket we need to remove. And this is a short bolt, so get your hand in there and finish it up by hand. You don't want to drop that. Go ahead and... Now here's my first one. Right here. Let me get my extension on there. All right. Extension off. All right, so there's the first bolt. Get down in here. Here's the second bolt, put my extension on there again. Uh, okay. All right, and here's my second bolt. And my third one. It's underneath the oil pressure switch, right about there. Okay, got it. All right. And there it is. All right, so I've got all three bolts out and it's not coming out. So I'm gonna give it a little persuasion here. Okay. 
There it is. Bring this over to the bench. All right, so I got my valve here, and then here's the gasket I need to put on. And I've got my pick tool. I've got this tool from Harbor Freight. And I just need to get this, get, oh man, this thing is hard as a rock. So I got the end of it and I'm pulling it up here, but I'm telling you, I picked at this for about 10 minutes because I was trying to be so careful. So this is a edited down version. You're welcome. All right, so let's clean this up and get the new uh, gasket on. All right, I'm gonna use a little parts cleaner to clean this up. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is just spray a little bit on a paper towel and then get in there wherever that gasket goes in there and seals. That's gonna do two things. It's gonna clean it up and then the other thing, it's gonna make it so it doesn't fall out because there's oil in there. So once you're done, just make sure it's pushed in there nicely. And then we're actually ready to put this back on the car. So let's do that now. All right, so I've got the bolts sitting in the VTEC solenoid. And what I'm gonna do is, here's a little bit of motor oil here. And I'm just gonna put it on the gasket. This way it'll just kind of help it seal up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and just put this on the car. All right, so let's just be careful here that these bolts don't want to fall out, which they do. And you're just going to want to start these by hand. I think I've got that one started. Oop, looks like it dropped the bottom one. And let's get this bottom one in. All right, bottom one started. Now let's snug up these uh, top ones. snug that one's snug now let's get the bottom one all right so now let's see if we can get a torque wrench in there all right so we're gonna torque this to 96 inch pounds Now let's put everything back together. Here's the oil pressure switch. And there's our bracket. Let's put the bolt in. And right next to that bracket is the PCV valve. Make sure you put one of those in when you do this job also. 
it would be a definitely a good time to do it. We're going to put our bracket in the holder and then the VTEC. And then let's go ahead and tighten up the bracket. Everything looks good here. Okay, now we got the PCV hose. Slide that on, put it back in its holder. Perfect. Let's install this. Now we got our body to engine ground strap with our 10 millimeter bolt and then our bracket. It'll situate right on there. Tighten this up. And then the last thing we need to do is just put on our cowl assembly and we're done. All right, so now we're going to put the panel on. This is the lower panel. This will go on fairly simple here. One. Two is a ten millimeter. And for the back one, I'm going to use my paper towel trick. Now I'm going to go to the other side, do the same thing. Let's use the paper towel trick on this one. Let's get these two on. That one's in. The shorty. Let's do the middle one now. One, two, three. Let's get these other two over here. Four, five. Now let's get the 12 millimeters. One, two. Three, four. All right, so let's get the upper cowl put on and then we're, we're done. So here's the washer pump hose there. Just flip it around and these clips just need to go in those holes. And let me get some clips. I'll put them in here and we're done. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and send this to somebody that owns a Honda Civic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.